Good morning. It is 8.34 on the 21st of September and today is the day that gigging resumes in my life. I have five gigs planned over the next 12 days and uh, it starts tonight. I'm going to see Suede at Rough Trade. So what I'm doing with this vlog, I'll just show you I'm wearing my Suede head case t-shirt. I'm probably not going to wear this t-shirt to the gig tonight because it's a little bit old but uh, in this vlog I'm going to talk about gigging with chronic health issues um, because I have IBS and I have endometriosis and a bunch of other things and um, they've been flaring up, well the IBS has been flaring up a lot since late July actually. It started when I went to the Pet Shop Boys in late July and uh, luckily it didn't stop me going to those gigs but um, it was a pain and it's just been a pain ever since it's been really bad yeah and this week I've been having some pain well quite a lot on the weekend Sunday and Monday I was in a lot of pain and I was really worried about um, especially tonight tonight's gig but I'm feeling okay today I did wake up with some stomach pain but I've had some breakfast and it feels reasonably settled I think I'm gonna be okay for tonight um, but yeah so my plan is just to kind of give an update of how I'm feeling after each gig before each gig any symptoms that come up how fatigued I am because obviously IBS and endometriosis bring a lot of fatigue. Just being in pain every day brings a lot of fatigue. Uh, and then trying to go out and jump up and down for an hour or so and scream at your favourite bands doesn't help. Well, it does help in the moment. It makes you feel a lot better in the moment. But then later on, my hair is doing a weird thing over here. Later on, um, you pay for it sometimes. Um, so yeah, watch this space. Uh, let's see how I get on with suede tonight. So I'm home from Suede and it was amazing and I'm feeling okay. To be fair, it wasn't much of a trial, <laughs> this gig. It was, you know, just an hour. Didn't have to stand through any support bands, didn't have to get jostled, josh, jostled, jostled in a mosh, moshled in a josh. Um, but uh, yeah, and it's, it's only, it's only like nine something. Um, so it's still early. Um, so yeah, I'm pleased that I made it to the gig. It's always good when I made it to make it to a gig and I'm feeling okay. My stomach pain came up a little bit titch on the way home and it's sort of, it's grumbling a little bit now, but it's fine. So I'm going to write a little bit about the gig and have a little look at my CD because I haven't even looked at the CD and go to bed. It's now Sunday evening, the 23rd, it's quarter to 6pm, and I just thought I'd update on how I've been over the weekend. I've actually been fine. My stomach has been okay until this evening. Now, I did have a bottle of wine over Friday and Saturday night, um, against my better judgement, but it just makes life so much easier. If you know, you can have some wine on the weekend. Um, so I'm guessing that's why my stomach is hurting me now. Um, but anyway, I'm not, obviously I'm not going to have any more wine now until next weekend at the earliest. Although, I suppose it might be tempting to have a drink at the Mannix or the Kylie gig coming up. Um, but I will, I will take that as it comes. Um, but yeah, uh, so hopefully I will be okay for Mannix on Tuesday. I'm in bed as usual. <laughs> Such is my life. I have been productive this weekend. My blog post is up for Suede. Um, uh, I'll hopefully, by the time I post this video, all my blog posts will be up. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, um, I'm going to have a quiet evening. I might get the hot water bottle out and just chill, listen to audiobooks. And... Uh, Hope that my stomach improves over the next couple of days. So that's my update.
It's 2 p.m. on the 25th of September. It's Manix Day. It's Manix Day. I'm feeling okay, stomach wise. My stomach's behaving today. I'm feeling okay, stomach wise, but I am bubbling with nervous energy. I'm excited, but I'm really nervous too. And I don't know why. It's just a gig. I think it's because of the support bands being. Um, not bands I'd normally go to. I don't know what to expect from the crowd and they're obviously much bigger acts than um, The Man X, George Ezra and Blossoms. I mean George Ezra is selling out the O2 for God's sake. Now he's supporting The Man X who <laughs> didn't sell out arenas on their last tour. Um, it'll be a different sort of experience. I know once I get there, once I'm in the Shepherd's Bush Empire with a glass of wine, I'll be in my element and I'll probably feel great. But right now I'm just like, oh, bloody anxiety. Um, so I'm trying to rest for the afternoon. Um, and just, you know, calm, keep calm, keep calm and carry on. My stomach's not hurting at the moment. Um, so that's good. <laughs> so uh, I'm not in bed at the moment, but I'm, I'm going to go and have just lie down maybe watch some telly redo my nails i've got this blue sparkly blue that i did for suede but i want to do a kind of trashy leopard print vibe for tonight because it's the manix um yeah watch some telly redo my nails maybe read for a bit and um and then head out and just get me to shepherd's bush empire because once i'm there i know i will be fine so yeah, that's my update. Oh man, I've got buzzing in my ear. I'm home from the Mannix. I survived. It was a bit of a crash. And the Mannix didn't play for very long, which was disappointing. And I hadn't realised just how much I would detest George Ezra. <laughs> but the Blossoms were okay, and the Mannix were brilliant. But I'm home, I'm quite knackered. My ears are really buzzing, even though this is the first gig I've ever worn. Um, what are those things that protect your ears? Earplugs. Um, so thank God I did, because God knows how buzzy my ears would be without them. Um, but I'm knackered, my stomach pain did rise up a tiny bit on the journey home. But mostly it was fine. Um, but I think I'm going to be feeling it in my hips and my knees tomorrow. But anyway, I am going to have a quick shower, drink a lot of water and go to bed. Good night. It's now Wednesday afternoon. I'm just testing out. I'm thinking of like filming videos here in my little music corner, but I'm trying to work out angles with the light and stuff. Um, I'm feeling surprisingly fine. I. Uh, thought I would really be achy today from, you know, standing and standing around for so long and jumping around um, a bit. But I actually, in my body, I feel fine, like in my limbs and joints and all these things. Oh, here's my trashy leopard print glittery <laughs> manicure. It's a bit, it's a bit DIY. It's not brilliant, but it'll do for the manics. Um, yeah, I thought I'd be really achy, but I'm not. My only kind of physical symptom today is just kind of sleepiness because I didn't sleep very well. I often don't sleep well after gigs or any kind of intense sort of experience plays and things like that. Um, so yeah, but nonetheless, I have just had a really restful day. I decided not to do much. I've done laundry and uh, that's about it. Just stayed in bed watching DVDs. It's nice to have a day like that sometimes and I really want to keep my energy for tomorrow. Tomorrow's the big day, really. In terms of these gigs, Kylie in the Golden Circle at the O2. I cannot wait. I spent so much on that ticket. I'm perfectly happy with that, no regrets, but I really, really want to be well, be there, and have the best possible experience. So, so far, so good. It's Thursday afternoon, it's Kylie time. I'm just about to get ready. I've just had some food, I'm having a little bit of wine to celebrate as well. I'm gonna get ready in a moment and head up to the O2. I can't wait. Should I wear David Bowie t-shirt? 
to a Kylie concert. I've been debating because it's got a bit of golden. It's got gold on his um, lightning bolt. But I don't know if it's appropriate. I've done my nails. These are my golden nails. This is a new nail varnish I bought today. It is Barry M's Majestic Sparkle. I should do some nail polish videos or not. Um, I'm excited, tiny bit nervous, mostly excited because I know the O2, I'm familiar with it. It's a great venue. I've never had any problems there. I've had some problems at Shepherd's Bush Empire before. So I think that was partly what made me nervous on Tuesday. Uh, physically feeling okay, tummy pain comes now and then. I felt a bit sick last night, but that subsided. It felt like it came from eating soya yogurt, which usually I'm fine with, but in IBS flare up, anything goes. Um, but I'm having wine because it's Kylie day. Uh, I'm not going to drink at the gig. I don't think I might get some water, but I'm just going to have wine as I get ready and then a glass when I get home, maybe. Um, but yeah, uh, it's all good. It's all good at the moment. Can't wait to go. Can't wait to see Kylie. I've been listening to Kylie just now and watching her videos today. I was watching, um, the Intimate and Live tour on YouTube. I just watched the first couple of minutes and I got all tearful with excitement <laughs> and with memories because I saw the Intimate and Live tour back in 98 at Shepherd's Bush Empire again. It's always Shepherd's Bush. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop blathering on. I'm going to have a dance to some Kylie tunes and get ready and get to the O2. Oh, I'm going to get rid of this red wine stain. Anyway, let's go. That was like nothing else. <laughs> God, it was so close. I am speechless. That was amazing. That was incredible. That was kind of overwhelming. I'm pretty sure this time I really am gonna be feeling it tomorrow. But can I just, can I just show you something? Look at this. I got merch and I didn't even buy it. I was next to, I was at the front by the way, I was at the barrier, front row for Kylie. And this amazing couple next to me, they had VIP tickets. And when they found out I'd spent the same amount for my golden circle as they had for their VIP, but I didn't get free merch, they gave me one of their merch bags because they had one each and they didn't want both. So I've got this tote bag, I'm gonna be doing all my shopping in this. I've got, ooh mug. I'm gonna be drinking all my coffee in this from now on. There's other stuff. I need to go and kind of collapse, drink five gallons of water, some wine too, I think that's in order. I need to spend an hour pulling confetti out of my bra and at some point I might sleep but I don't know when. Anyway, here I am. Gig number three. Third gig in a week. What am I thinking? I'm 43 for Christ's sake. Good night. It's half past eight on Friday morning. I'm feeling kind of croaky. Um, I hope that's just from inhaling uh, dry ice. I was right in front of the, um, the this fan that blew against me the whole night, which was very nice, very refreshing, but sometimes it turned to dry ice and being that close, it was a bit of a bit of a thing to inhale. It was a bit of an experience. Um, also right next to the confetti cannons, which when they went off, that was a scream. There was some hardcore screaming going off there and they went off like five or six times. Um, I didn't sleep very well. I've only been awake about 20 minutes and that's only because a friend texted me um, and woke me up like about 10 past 8. Um, and because uh, I didn't sleep, I, I had a few glasses of wine. Not, I mean, I had maybe a large glass actually in total. I didn't have a huge amount of wine. Um, but it disrupted my sleep even more than just recovering from an amazing Kylie gig disrupted my sleep. Um, 
but I'm still buzzing. Um, we'll see how my stomach goes then, because I have drunk. I had drunk, you know, the best part of a bottle of wine last night. So if my stomach pain comes on tonight, then we'll know that that is the wine. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so I'm still in bed, not planning, well I have to get out and get some breakfast at some point, but not really planning to do much at all today. Uh, I might not even start writing about the gig, I'll probably just write a little bit in my diary. I don't know what to write, how do you write about that? How do you do it? It was just incredible. Time to recover. It's Saturday night, uh, the 29th of September. I'm just heating the hot water bottle, heating the kettle for my hot water bottle. Because uh, for the second night in the row I'm having stomach pains. I had stomach pains last night, um, which I had to take painkillers for. I had to take codidromol, um because it just wouldn't settle. Um, which made me woozy all day today, so... I didn't get all that much done, um, and the pain's kind of striking up again now. It's not terrible pain, and it's different from the pain I was having last weekend after the wine, but it's still sort of coming up after I've drunk, you know, a bottle of wine over the course of a couple of days, so maybe I have to face the truth, or maybe I'll just switch to white wine. <laughs> Perhaps, uh, perhaps that will help. Uh, anyway, apart from that, feeling okay. I actually really didn't feel as achy in my, uh, you know, body as I expected to. Um, I did have a little bit of a croaky throat, um, Friday morning, but that went away. I'm just, it's my normal croakiness now. <laughs> um, but yeah. So uh, another couple of days uh, without gigs and then gig on Tuesday night which is going to be a sit down acoustic thing so that will be quite uh, you know uh, civilised and then reggae holly cook on Wednesday which I don't really know what to expect apart from you know fabulous lady singing reggae tunes but I've never been to a reggae gig before so nervous and excited about that. Um, so yeah, uh, but that's my Saturday update. It's Monday morning, I don't know what time it is actually. Um, probably getting towards lunchtime. I'm not feeling great. My stomach isn't hurting so much today, but I just feel ill. I tried to get a doctor's appointment for today, um, but there were no appointments with my GP, but he did have a slot on Wednesday. So I will go then. Um, I don't know what's the best thing to do to try and go out and, you know, get some fresh air and do things. Or just get some rest. More rest. I was in bed all day yesterday. So we'll see these last two gigs. If I can't make it, I guess it's not the end of the world. They weren't so expensive, the gig tickets. Um, and they weren't, you know, they weren't the big events. Last week's were the big events, really. So tired of feeling ill. Okay, so it's still Monday. I've been a little bit productive. I I went out, I was gonna go shopping, but I was feeling really, really queasy. And I don't know why I haven't. It's three days now since I drank wine. It was Friday, I had my last glass of wine, that was Monday. Um, I've tidied up a bit in my bedroom. It probably doesn't look tidy, but look, I've got my October up on my labyrinth calendar and I've made I've made myself some sort of gluten-free pizzas out of a BAP thing. <laughs> I'm gonna try and have some lunch. It's nearly 2 p.m. and I haven't really eaten much. Um, still feeling a little queasy but um, not as bad so let's see how I go. I'm gonna just have a quiet afternoon. Um, I'm gonna catch up on Nintendo DS games. I think I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing, maybe some uh, Layton's, not Professor Layton, but the one with his niece or his daughter or whoever it is. <laughs> anyway, 
enough waffling. That's me trying to be productive on a Monday. It's a quarter to 12 midday on Tuesday the 2nd of October and I'm annoyed. I just filmed a couple of YouTube videos and I realised, I didn't realise until I watched them that I had this big smudge of eyeliner. I think I've mostly got it off but I can't use those videos unless I want to look like an idiot. So I'm trying to decide whether I can be bothered to re-record them or what. <laughs> Anyway, but the good news is I'm feeling okay at the moment, so I should be good for Paul Draper tonight. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, that's annoying. It's just about 10 p.m. now on Tuesday and I'm back from Paul Draper. I made it to Islington and back. I just about didn't. I was feeling really, really fatigued and ill on the tube on the way up. But it was just the knowledge that it was a sit-down gig in a church that um, made me think I could get through. Um, but yeah, I did think about turning back a few times. But I got there and it was okay. He played six songs. He didn't seem on top form. Sometimes he seemed a bit out of sync with the guitarist, his other guitarist. Um, his voice was in good shape, not the best shape I've heard him, but then it was still pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, six songs. I'm not sure if that was really worth it, but uh, I did it. I did it. I'm not sure now about Holly Cook tomorrow because I did feel really crap. Uh, I feel a little bit better now, but um, I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Maybe I'll see if there's a seating place, like a balcony seated area I could sit down, sit down at the Scala for Holly Cook. Anyway, we shall see. But that is my update for now. It's 8.30 on Wednesday and I feel completely wiped out. I feel way more wiped out than I did after the Kylie gig. I don't know what's up. Um, maybe it's just having had a bad IBS episode for the best part of four days. has just completely shattered me. But um, I feel like I ran a marathon last night, not just going and sitting in a church. Um, yeah, so I'm uh, gonna have some breakfast to see my GP in a little while. I'm thinking it would be foolish to go to the last gig. Much as I wanted to make it. Anyway, first things first. Breakfast and GP. It's now nearly 2 p.m. I'm sporting this elegant turban because I've washed my hair. I went to my GP and he's prescribed me a new drug uh, which is for people with the constipation style IBS, you know the bloaty style which is the one I get. I couldn't pick up the drug unfortunately because they had to order it in so I'll pick that up on Friday. I feel really shattered I feel like I've walked for miles and miles. I felt like that last night, I felt like it's day. I don't know if I'm maybe... I've been a little bit sniffly and, and slightly irritated of throat and stuff, so I don't know if I've got some minor coldy type bug or something, but anyway. That's me defeated, that's four gigs. Four gigs in 11 days, I made it. I made that much at least. But yeah, I'm I'm admitting defeat and staying in bed for the foreseeable future. It's about half past nine on Thursday morning. Here's my morning hair. Look at this state of me. Um, <laughs> that's what I get for washing my hair and uh, just like lying down on it. Um, so yeah, obviously I didn't go out last night, I missed my last gig, and I do feel a lot better today. I clearly really just needed 
time to lie down. Um, I really felt like I was coming down with something. I was aching. You know how your legs ache when you're getting a fever? Well, the mine do anyway. <laughs> and just felt really, really run down and ill. But I do feel better this morning. I don't feel perfect, but um, I certainly made the right choice to stay home. And you know, I think out of all the gigs, the the four gigs that I did go to were four of my all-time favourite artists, Suede, Mannix, Kylie, Paul Draper, um, and they're all, you know, of a certain age. Holly Cook is young. There'll be more gigs. Oh, there'll be another chance to see her, I'm sure. Um, so, uh, you know, if it had, if I had to miss one gig, I guess, um, you know, that was the one to miss. Although, you know, part of me thinks maybe I should have given up on the Paul Draper show, given that it was only six songs. It's quite a lot just to go up to Islington for, and, you know, maybe I would have been well enough for Holly Cook, but we never know these things. Um, so yeah, so today's my last day off work. I'm back at work tomorrow, though I'm probably just going to work from home. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then another journey starts tomorrow because I start these new pills for, for the IBS. I'm looking very puffy. I don't know if that's just from exhaustion or something, but I sort of, I feel like I'm very sort of pale and, and doughy. <laughs> it's just me. But, um, yeah, so today, uh, as you can see, I'm still in bed, half past nine. Even though I feel better, I'm not going to do too much today. I'm just going to rest um, and get myself ready for being a normal human being again uh, at work. <clears throat> so uh, at the moment, I'm catching up on YouTube vids. I'm going to do some reading, might watch some telly. Oh, I've got QI to catch up on, well remembered. Um, but yeah, so there is my vlog I guess I'm wrapping this up now that is my experience trying to go to five gigs in 12 days in the middle of an IBS flare-up I made it to four I think that's pretty good given my age and my state of decrepitude um, but yeah um, I've learned a lot you know of how to approach things um, in the future and uh, I hope this has maybe been helpful or just interesting for other people who have uh, chronic health issues. But that's it. I'm signing off now and I will speak to you in my next video.